New developments today in a story we first reported in April. That is when the city of Bath sent a letter to Zinye Spa on Center Street telling them to shut down their operations. The city said the services they provided qualified it as an adult business, something not allowed in the downtown commercial area. It turns out that was just one part of the story. Pearl Small joins us now with more on what's happening. Pearl. Yeah, Brian and Amanda, this investigation has been going on for months and we've been tracking it since the suspicions were raised about that massage parlor that you mentioned. With some digging, we found that the owner of the spa in Bath, Richard Chu, was also the owner of a different spa in Lewiston. Operating in a similar manner, they both offered massage services through a generic poster hung on the building, windows listing a phone number that takes you to an escort site if you Google it. Now, over the weekend, the owner, Richard Chu, was arrested. Sources with the Lewiston police tell us investigators were able to get search warrants and when they searched the Lewiston property, they found video, recording equipment, condoms, and over $12,000 in suspected sex trafficking proceeds. In addition to this, two suspected human trafficking victims were found. In his first court appearance today, three charges were announced, including Class D sex trafficking that allegedly happened between March and May of this year. During the hearing, Assistant District Attorney Nate Walsh with Androscoggin County mentioned the concerns in Bath, but noted they span farther than just those two towns. Police determined that the defendant was also involved in massage parlors that were opened in other cities across the state to include Kennebec County, as well as Oxford County and southern parts of the state. And Chu is pleading not guilty to all of the charges. Lewiston police tell me the Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Services assisted in providing support to the trafficking victims. We also spoke with the town manager in Bath about this new development, and he said the same concerns about trafficking were raised when they first looked into the business in his community. We'll have more on that and the full story coming up at 6. Brian and Amanda? Pearl Small looking to those new developments. Thanks, Pearl. Thank you, Pearl.